On a warm September afternoon, the Golden Eagles trade in the hardwood for a softball. In the shadow of Miller Park, it's staff versus players in a friendly softball game. A brief pause marking the end of the offseason and the start of a new campaign. We've been going hard at it the whole summer, you know, up, up to this fall, the beginning of the fall. So uh, just to get this little break, you know, just to take away, take our minds off the game and just have fun and uh, bring the whole, bring the whole uh, Marquette and basketball family together. So. I think in the last week before we go into practice on Saturday, I think it's just good to kind of change the pace up, um, kind of get outside, and then uh, before we kind of get stuck in the gym, you know, all, all year. While the game is friendly, it doesn't take long to see the competitive vibe has spilled over to the softball field. Play at the plates. It's a pickle. Well executed, Marquette staff. No one on the field wants to lose. The players jump out to an early lead and have no problem celebrating. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. I'm kind of like the general manager right now, you know, just, just supporting my team. You know, my guys are playing well. Came out to play today, you know, we're making good plays, we're making good catches. You know, our pitcher, Camarada, is pitching well. You know, just making them, making them get out quick. We all know their skills shine on the basketball court, but which of these guys has a little game on the diamond? No, I think uh, Drew, obviously Andrew played a little baseball growing up, and uh, Sam, Greg's pretty good third baseman, he's throwing some people out, making some nice plays, so I think Ike actually is surprisingly doing all right right now, so I think he, a lot of guys got some game. Just have to bring out my inner Derek Jeter, you know, I don't know if he played outfield, but it's good out here being with, playing with the guys and stuff like that. I think Greg Elliott has really been playing well, so hey, the way he's playing out here, I think he definitely played. Greg Elliott, you know, we, we did a little scouting report on him, a little video scout of him as a kid. Good, good player. Some surprise that, you know, he hasn't played in a while. I'm surprised at how good he's um, playing today. Oh, it was extremely fun. Something I never did before, so it's real fun. No, I never played baseball, not one time. Yeah, no way. He, we, we have a film of him in Little League. Very good player. That shows hustle and, you know, just the, team, the will to win. You know, he's doing everything he can for the team to win. <laughs> for some of these guys, this is a slightly different game. We play cricket. Six. Have you played you cricket? Uh, I played just in the backyard, general stuff, but I played a lot of cricket when I was younger. I mean, it's cool, obviously, uh, getting, getting involved in different sports and doing something different other than uh, just weights and practice and uh, it's good to get out and do something else, especially with the team, team building, good fun and build a relationship with the coaches a lot more as well. But the highlights come from both sides, with Coach Wojciechowski making it look easy. Oh, get him. Coach Wojo, he out here making plays. Time to be like him when I grow up. Got it, Caps, got it! Obviously, Coach is really competitive. You can see him diving all over the place and starting late inning rallies. The staff team mounts a furious comeback erasing the player's big lead. But in the end, it's not enough. The players hold on for a slim victory. We let him get back in the game, so it'd be a good one for the fans and stuff like that. Um, other than that, it was a pretty easy win for us. It's a good switch up from being on the court and playing basketball all the time. Obviously, we've been working real hard over the summer and to get out, relax, That's have a bit it. of fun, you know, get, get our minds right, uh, just kick back a little bit, and then leading into the summer, we're going to hit it hard running, so it'll be good. It brings us together more, you know. Boot camp was a tough thing for us, and we got together more as a team. But, you know, just doing stuff like this, different sports, different activities, I think it helps us build a better camaraderie for one another and a better love for one another. One thing, Coach, that struck me from that piece, and it shouldn't have surprised me, is how competitive you are. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I don't know necessarily where I get it from, but, you know, I think uh, it's something that throughout my life, whether you're on the basketball court or softball field or playing cards, you know, I think you, you try to play to win. What do you guys do? Obviously, we saw the softball game, but I know you'd like to build team chemistry in the summer. What kind of events do you do? Well, you know, obviously everybody always talks about what you do on the court. I think at times, you know, what you do off the court with your team can be as important because guys have to get to know one another. Uh, they have to be able to see one another in different settings. And so we do a lot of team building exercises, the softball game being, being one of them, where, you know, we take guys outside of their normal environment and allow them to, you know, try and do different things and, and build team spirit. 
uh, build camaraderie, and have a little fun. Is that where you can see emerging leaders? Yeah, I think you, you can. When you put guys in different situations, people naturally gravitate to certain guys. And uh, whether it's a softball game or whether, you know, we're, we're in the summer, we're out on the track or, you know, you can see when you're doing competitive things, there's one or two guys that guys always kind of gravitate towards in competitive situations.